Hello everyone, this is Munazir from IntelliPark. Recently while solving DSA problem on lead code, I came across this particular question which are there on your screen right now. And to be fair, this is quite difficult problem. It is based on the advanced DSA concept of binomial leap. And probably, if you appear for the competitive exams, hackathons or my company interviews, you might come across problem like this. So today through this video, we are going to look at what exactly binomial heap is in a very simple manner. Before we dive into the binomial heap, let's try to understand some basic terms such as binomial tree, heap, mean heap and then max heap. So what is binomial tree? Binomial tree is a type of data structure where each node has at most two children, referred to as left child and the right child. The trees start with a single node, often called the root node, and each node in the tree can have 0, 1, 2, or 3 children. In general, for BK, it is constructed by combining two binomial trees, namely BK-1 and BK-1. These trees are connected in such a way that one becomes the left subtree of the other binomial tree. Here, K is typically refers to the order or the degree of binomial tree rather than representing a specific node or the level. The order of degree of a binomial tree is the number of children its root has and it is denoted by k. Yeah, I understand these definitions might be confusing for you guys, but don't worry, we will try to explain this with the help of diagrams. If k is equal to 0, it means b0. So for b0, there is only one node in the tree. For b1, where k is equal to 1, so there would be two binomial trees of b0 in which one b0 becomes the left subtree of the another b0. For b2, where k is equal to 2, there would be two binomial trees of b1, in which one b1 becomes the left subtree of another b1. Similarly, for b3, where k is equal to 3, so there would be two binomial trees of b2, in which one b1 becomes the left subtree of another b1. Now, I hope you guys are clear with this. Moving forward, we will see what is heap. We can simply define heap as the complete binary tree. There are two types of heap, min heap and the max heap. In the min heap, the value of parent node is less than or equal to its children. Also, the smallest element is located at the root. On the other hand, the max heap can be defined as the value of the parent node is greater than or equal to its children. In case of max heap, the largest element is located at the root. Now, we will try to understand min heap and the max heap with a diagram. Now, we will try to understand min heap and the max heap with the diagram. Here we can see that the figure 1 is following the minimum heap property and the figure 2 is following the maximum heap property. Here we can clearly see that in the whole tree, 1 is minimum among all the nodes. Similarly, in the whole tree here, 8 is maximum among all the tree. So here we can see that the both the figures are following. The one is following for the minimum heap property and the other is following for the maximum heap property. Now moving forward, we will look into the binomial heap. So, what is binomial heap? A binomial heap can be defined as the collection of binomial trees that satisfy the heap property, that is the mean heap property. The mean heap is a heap in which each node has a value lesser than the value of its child node. Mainly, the binomial heap is used to implement a priority queue. It is an extension of binomial heap that gives faster merge or union operation along with the other operations provided by binary heap. Now we will see the properties of binomial heap. Every binomial tree in the heap must follow a mean heap property that is the key of a node is greater than or equal to the key of its parent. For any non-negative integer k, there should be at least one binomial tree in a heap where the root has the degree k. So what do these properties say? Let me explain you guys. The first property of heap ensures that the minimum property is held throughout the heap. This means you will not find any max heap property. So throughout the heap, you will get either minimum heap property or the maximum heap. You will not find the mixture of both heaps, that is the min heap and the max heap. Whereas the second property ensures that a binary tree with n nodes should have at most one plus log 2n binomial trees, where log 2 is the binary logarithm. If these statements are not still clear to you guys, don't worry. We will try to understand this with the help of examples. The figure has three binomial trees, that is b0, b2, and b3. All three binomial trees satisfy min heap property as all the nodes have a smaller value than the child nodes. 
This also satisfies the second property of binomial heap. For example, if we consider the value of k as 3, we can observe in the figure that the binomial tree of degree 3 exists in a heap. I hope now you guys are clear with this. Moving forward, we will see binary heap and the binary representation of a number. A binary heap with n nodes consists of the binomial trees equal to the number of set bits in the binary representation of n. Don't worry guys, I know this statement is little bit confusing, so we will try to understand with the help of example. Suppose we want to create a binomial heap of n nodes that can be simply defined by the binary number of n. For example, if you want to create a binomial heap of 13 nodes, the binary form of 13 is 1101. So, if we start numbering from the rightmost digit, suppose we want to create a binomial heap of n nodes that can be simply defined by that binary number of n. For example, if you want to create the binomial heap of 13 nodes, the binary form of 13 is 1101. So, if you want the numbering from the rightmost, then we can observe that 1 is available at 0, 2 and 3 positions. Therefore, the binomial heap with 13 nodes will have B0, B2 and B3 binomial trees. We can use another example to understand it more clearly. Suppose we have to create binomial heap with 9 nodes. The binary representation of 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. So, in the binary representation of 9, the digit 1 is occurring at 0 and 3 positions. Therefore, the binary heap will contain the binomial trees of 0 and 3 degree, that is, B0 and B3. Now, we will look into the different operations that can be performed on a binary heap. The very first operation we will see is finding the minimum key. As we have already discussed, a binomial heap is the collection of binomial trees and every binomial tree satisfies the min heap properties, right? It means the root node contains a minimum value. Therefore, we only have to compare the root node of all the binomial trees to find the minimum key. Now, let's try to understand this with an example. Here, we have three binomial trees having the degree 0, 2 and 3. If we want to find the minimum among these three, we simply have to compare the root node because of the minimum heap property. So, we have to compare between 9, 1 and 7. And from this, we can easily say that 1 is minimum among all. So, what do you think about the time complexity? The time complexity of finding the minimum key in a binomial heap is order of log n. Now, moving forward, we will see another operations of binomial heap that is union or merging of two binomial heaps. See guys, this is one of the most important operations performed on a binomial heap. Here, we have two binomial heaps H1 and H2 and we want the union of both the heaps. In H1, we can see that we have three different degrees tree that are B0, B1 and B2 and in H2, we have B0, B1 and B4. Here, both the binomial heaps are valid as the order of degree is increasing. In H1, we have the degrees 0, 1 and 2 and in H2, we have the degrees 0, 1 and 4. Now, we will merge these two heaps H1 and H2. So guys, do you think this is the correct way to merge two binomial heaps? No, I guess. Because as we have just discussed, the order of degree must be increasing. But here, the order is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2 and 4. So this is not a valid binomial heap. So we will now merge in such a way that it becomes the valid binomial heap. Suppose this is x. Then the node just after node x becomes the next of x and the node after that will become the sibling of next of x. Now we will compare the degree of all these three nodes. Here x is equal to 0 next of x is equal to 0 and the sibling of next is equal to 1. So, consider this as case 1. And if this is the case, then you just have to merge the node with the same degree. Like here, we will merge 9 and 17. But keeping in mind, 9 must be the root of the tree as 9 is less than 17. So, following the minimum heap property. Similarly, this becomes x. This becomes the next of x and this becomes the sibling of next of x. Now again we will compare the degree of these three nodes. So the degree of x is 1, the next of x is also 1 and the sibling of next of x is 1. So consider it as case 2. So this becomes x, this becomes next of x and this becomes sibling of next of x. We will now again compare the degree of all these three nodes. So the degree of x is 1, the degree of next of x is 1 and the degree of sibling of next of x is 2. 
we can now see that it is following the case 1 so we will simply merge these two nodes of the same degree so it becomes this we will again follow the same steps here the degrees are 2 2 and 4 so this will also follow the case 1 now we can see that the degree of all the tree is different and hence this is our final output so this is how we merge two binomial heaps there are more operations such as inserting a node extracting minimum key decreasing a key and deleting a node I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you want more videos like this, then don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button for our IntelliPart YouTube channel. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPart offers a full stack developer course which enable you to learn tech stack from both front end and back end. Through this course, you will gain hands on experience with the skills and technologies such as SQL, Java, data structure, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Node.js and React under the guidance of industrial professionals. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out that testimonial on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without doubt, this course can set your careers to new height. So visit the course page link given in the description and take the first step towards a career growth with the full stack developer course.